Hi guys and happy, happy Friday. I wanted to sit outside with you and um, chat today, but it is so hot. It is out of hand hot and humid. Just the humidity is God, horrible. I've never felt anything like it. And uh, plus the guys are building um, on the house, you know, two doors down and it's constant nail guns, nail guns, nail guns. It would, <laughs> it would drive everyone insane. And today all I wanted was pure relaxation. Hence the uh, hell pern in the background. All right. Um, today was a very, very fun day. First of all, we had a blast in Coney Island. Really, really fun time. And uh, I was going to wear my my... Coney Island t-shirt today, but you'll find out why I couldn't wear it. <laughs> so I was outside working for three hours, drenched with sweat, could not wait to peel my clothes off, honestly. So anyway, I started the day off at the thrift and I found some fun things. I found this great little frog. He's a really uh, rustic looking frog. But what he is, is a uh, key hider. You know, like those rocks where you put your key in there? It's a key hider. And uh, goes in the garden. Of course, I won't put a key in him, but I, I just love him for the garden. He's so fabulous. And he looks ancient at this point. I just love him. I also found this thing, which uh, reminded me very much of yesterday. And it's just a beautiful thing. It plays um, the carousel waltz, and it is a music box. You know, I love music boxes. But the fun thing about this is that, um, and I'm going to uh, attempt to fix it. There's two pulleys here. There's a pulley here behind the. Uh, it's very loose now. It's given. It's not uh, taut anymore, but there's a pulley behind the Ferris wheel, and there's a pulley across to the music box, which the, the what do you call it? the turning of the music box turns the pulley on the Ferris wheel and makes it spin. So here you can see the little pulley system. I don't know if you can see the little thread that's no longer tight, but um, I'm going to definitely try to do that. I'm going to try and use that very fine um elastic and uh see if we can get that to work it's such a beautiful thing you know i love music boxes but this one just reminded me of coney island and if i can get the little um uh ferris wheel to spin again oh how fun would that be just a beautiful thing i really love it, it needs to be cleaned some more I, I went over it with a paper towel but there's still um stuff on it it's not very clean um, so I probably had it forever in a garage, probably meaning to fix that pulley, <laughs> pulley thing, right? Garage or basement, whatever. But I loved it. And I also found a, a really cool piece of fence art that looks like, um, like an industrial metal um, wheel or gear. Very cool thing. It's on the fence right here. Okay, what else? Um, can you see these guys over here? I don't know if you can see them. I got these in the dollar store today. They're very cute skeletal birds. Their wings go up and down. Very cute. Up and down. <laughs> Their beaks go up and down. They're really, really fun. And all of the skeletal creatures when they come out for Halloween. So I got those in the Dollar Tree. Very fun. I got two of those. And behind me over here, if you can see him, is the um, co the skeleton cobra that I was talking about last time. Very, very fun. Uh, after the um, thrift and the dollar store, I went to Aldi. <laughs> My favorite thing of the day now I'm going to talk about. Um, went to Aldi and... Um, but all the things that I needed for tomorrow's barbecue and I went down the aisle with like the other stuff you know non-food stuff and they had a um, 
Charbroil Commander Kamado Grill for $99.99. And if you're familiar with Kamado grills and the Commander, uh, you know, uh, specifically, the Commander is like a $400 grill. So when I saw $99.99, I was like, I have to. I, how could I not? I mean, that's a ridiculous price. And um, we couldn't get the box in my car, and so we had to, in the, little, in the Jeep, even with the seats up in the back, the Jeep just didn't, the box was just too big. And, uh, cause I said, if I buy this grill, do you have somebody strong that can help me put it in the, in the Jeep? And they're like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they gave me a boy, looked like he was about 12 years old. And <laughs> I think I was stronger than him. I was like, how are we going to do, oh, whatever the box wouldn't fit in my truck in my jeep we had to take everything out of the box every part out of the box put it in the jeep take it home that way i wasn't leaving without it i would have pushed it home in a cart but we were dripping with sweat we're opening the box we're taking it, the, the foam out leaving as much of the corrugated cardboard as possible so nothing would scratch and bang together and it was i said i bet you didn't plan on doing this today and uh, I tried to give him money for, you know, Dunkin' Donuts or whatever, and he wouldn't take it. Well, I think I did most of the work anyway, but, never, you know, never mind. He was a cute, nice kid. And he was like, enjoy your grill. <laughs> I was like, I definitely will. I definitely will. Commander Grilling Guide right here. Took me three hours to put together, and I'm going to show you uh, a little bit of footage of not of putting it together because I would have been insane. I, it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have been a pretty picture. <laughs> dripping, dripping with sweat, swearing, cursing. I mean, just crazy. You know how I get. So, all together, three hours, and uh, but I did it slow. I, you know, I took my time because it was so hot. And I drank huge glasses of water through the whole thing, you know. Vaji wanted to be out there with me. I think, I said, I think it's a little too hot for you, little man. But uh, he wanted to be out there the whole time. Stayed out of my way. Now he's crashed on the couch because, yeah. <laughs> that, this heat will do it to you. Uh, we're drinking a dogfish head, Namaste White, a Belgian style whipped beer. This is one of my favorites. Blanca um, was saying yesterday when we were sitting in Freak Bar that this was her very favorite of Dogfish Head and uh, she couldn't remember the name. So she showed me a picture on her phone and I said, oh, Namaste, one of my very, very favorites. And I told her, you can get it right around the corner for me. So she brought some back from Rehoboth when she brought my um, limited edition stuff back. Mm. I hurt my back so bad. I'm telling you, it's like the Doan's pill commercial with the throbbing red, you know, circle around the back. That's what it feels like. I'm telling you, because I helped the girl lift the box onto the hand truck. Um, hand, you know, the I forget what you call them. We have them in the warehouse. You hold the, uh, the handle like this and the whole thing rolls. You don't actually have to push it like a like a um, regular hand truck. We put, I helped her lift it to put it on there. Um, paid for it. Brought the truck up. Me and this little tiny 98 pound weakling put the thing in the truck. It fit perfectly in the back. But the door wouldn't close. So he's like, maybe I can tie it with plastic bags. I was like, no, nah, I don't think so. So uh, I said, we're going to have to take it out of the box. Take everything out of the box, put it in the back. Perfect. Perfect. It's the way to go. Because I could never have gotten it from the Jeep to the deck anyway. I would have had to take it in pieces. So it was all ready to go. And uh, that was fun. And I'm really, really excited. And what a bargain. 
And um, after I'm done with you guys, I got a lot of stuff to do too, yet still. That's why I wanted a little bit of peace and relaxation with you guys and Steve Halpern in the background. Um, just to chill for a little bit. Try and get my back feeling a little bit better. Because tonight I have to uh, dry rub my pork chops. And I, I want to make the huli huli sauce tonight and put it in the fridge, have it ready to go. And um, I gotta make some lemon ice cream. So I got a lot to do yet tonight. But, um, this recipe is for um, Huli Huli Chicken, and this recipe is from armadillopepper.com here on YouTube. And um, it looks so amazing that I said I have to try it, but I wasn't too thrilled with the chicken today in the food store, so um, I went with these beautiful thick cut pork chops, bone in pork chops. And I'm going to make Huli Huli pork chops. I also got a massive thing of ribs for next week uh, in Aldi for a great, great price. Really bigger than the ones I did last time. Really excited about that too. But uh, tomorrow, since I'm trying the Kamado for the first time, this particular grill, for the first time, I didn't want to do ribs on it until I'm more comfortable with the grill. Uh, see how it cooks and how it holds temperature, blah, blah, blah. But pork chops are easy, you know, really easy. So um, the dry rub for the huli huli uh, chicken, pork, whatever you want to make, uh, is two tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of paprika, two tablespoons of garlic powder, a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of dry mustard, a teaspoon of cracked pepper, and a quarter teaspoon dried habanero uh, pepper or cayenne or chipotle or whatever you have, or you can leave it out altogether. And then the wet marinade, because uh, I'm going to dry rub and let them sit overnight with the dry rub, and then I'll cook them, you know, sear them pretty good, and then I'll start brushing them with the wet marinade, which is a cup of pineapple, a third of a cup of ketchup, two tablespoons of sesame oil, a third of a cup of soy sauce, a third of a cup of honey, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons minced ginger, two tablespoons Worcestershire sauce, and a tablespoon of lime juice. Doesn't that sound insane? And it's a Hawaiian recipe. And if you want to watch him make it, um, just go to armadillopepper.com and look for Huli Huli Chicken. Really, really fun. As soon as I saw the video, I said, that's what I'm making this weekend. No doubt. So it was a very, very fun couple of days off uh, so far. Tomorrow I'll be grilling all day, hoping the rain stays away. It's supposed to rain through the night, and um, if it rains through the night and leaves us alone tomorrow, I'll be very, very happy because I really want to try my grill. Um, I ordered a new, I ordered a cover for it. I have to have a cover. And I also ordered a new cover for my um, other charbroil because um, today, like when I was moving stuff around, the cover like completely split. So it was all, it was dry rotted. It needed it needed a new cover anyway. So I ordered the covers and uh, ready to go, ready to roll with the new grill. I can't wait. I got some new lump charcoal, mesquite um, charcoal, uh, lump charcoal, and uh, just really excited to try this grill. I also got this great um, bra basting brush. I got this in Walgreens this morning when I went to get something uh, something I need to get for Vaji. And um, I found this there. It was on half price. So I got it for like, um, I think it was $2.99, something like that. And what I liked about this basting brush was it has this little stand that click that snaps out and the, uh, what do you call it, the bristles don't touch anything. See? Isn't that a great idea? I really love the concept of that with the little stand that holds it off the, uh, off the table. So that was a fun thing. It's one of those rubber ones. And they don't last that long, but man, if I get the rest of the summer out of this, I'd be thrilled. 
so anyway, that's it. So that was fun. That was a fun find. And um, like I said, you'll see the uh, footage right here. Hey guys, happy Friday. It's about 100 degrees, about 100% humidity. It is just brutal. I was going to sit out here and chat with you today, but it's getting very, very cloudy and the wind's whipping up, so I think it's going to rain very, very soon. And also, I was putting this grill together. <laughs> oh my God, on the hottest day of the year, I'm battling with a grill. Some parts were so heavy for me, but hey, when there's a will, there's a way. And the box wouldn't fit in the Jeep, so me and the kid had to um, open the box and put the parts in, make sure we had all the parts. And, but that, that was the only way to get the Jeep door closed because the box was so massive. Was, you know, they put all that packing in with it, the foam and uh, the corrugated cardboard and oh my god. So anyway, I put it together. I was dying, swearing, sweating, the works, you know. Only thing, I think I probably, I may have put the handle on upside down, but you know what, at this point, I, I couldn't do it anymore. I couldn't I couldn't do it I am like a drenched rat I am so sweaty but anyway um, it's a charbroil commander it's uh, charbroils um, what do you call it, Kamado and uh, I got it at Aldi's for $99 last time I was there it was 200 and I thought it was a great price but when I saw 99 I said I am not letting that pass because that is a really good price and uh, so once I got the legs on which were not hard of course that was easy that bottom tray was easy the wheels were easy this the, the, the damn pieces for this table this tray out of hand I was oh man I thought I was gonna drop <laughs> But I got it on, I figured it out. And um, everything else after that, you know, the handle, of course, I, I think I put it on upside down. I can't really tell. But either way, it's fine. It, it's perfect, it lifts, it's nice. Uh, the hinge was relatively easy. These things are so cool, just like the uh, Acorn Junior, I like that. What's really cool about this grill is the bottom one is not on the bottom, it's over here. And I really, really think that's cool. And then there's this pipe that comes up from the bottom to that thing there. So it's interesting, you know. Nice solid latch. Nice big cooking uh, area. And once everything was together, really, it's just a matter of placing all the grates in there because there's got to be, let's see, there's like the ash pan, there's a little grill down the bottom, there's this ring. There's this tray, I guess you can put, uh, I guess it kind of acts as a deflector or you can put water in that pan uh, when smoking. It's got a nice uh, swing out uh, vegetable tray and uh, or whatever, warming tray. It's really, really nice. So I'm so happy, $99. I swore I would never put another grill together after, uh, after, the big, after my other one. Uh, I mean, I, I really, that, like the sheet metal on those kind of grills, they just slice you open if you're not careful. But these are all pretty, um, they're not sharp on the edges and stuff like that. But $99, like how can you pass it by? It's a beautiful grill. Uh, this thing slides out. This tray slides out and goes down so you can put your uh, cover on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and... Uh, uh, order a cover for it right now and uh, just really happy I mean for me to put this thing together you knew I was really <laughs> excited about it <laughs> instead of waiting for help you know what I mean but I can I pretty much can assemble anything it's just I mean ability wise it's just that it's so hard you know some of these things are just so heavy but anyway I did it and I love it and I'm going to cook on it tomorrow. I'm going to make huli huli. I was going to make huli huli chicken, but I didn't like the um, chicken uh, at the store. So I got these big, 
beautiful pork chops. So I'll make holy holy pork chops. I bought a massive rack of ribs for next weekend. And uh, so we're gonna have some fun. I figured I'd make pork chops on here uh, the first time because I have to I have to get used to it. I've used this grill for so long. I'm gonna keep it, of course, for when I need more grill space. But, um, or if I wanna smoke on here and grill on there, you know what I mean? So uh, it's gonna be great. I think it's gonna be great. $99 at Aldi's. Unbelievable. So anyway, guys, I'll be back with you later. And I threw some pictures in there of the little bit of change that I made to fit the girls. And I'm very, very excited. I'm telling you, I would never have chosen the hottest day of the year to do something like that <laughs> if it wasn't the day before barbecue day. And um, such a great price. I mean, a $400 grill for $99.99, really? I, there was no way I could pass that by. And um, this way I have two grills lots of space uh can make a lot of stuff i could smoke ribs in the kamado and uh cook regular on the other grill meanwhile not open the kamado you know let it sit low and slow very very excited so anyway guys i am exhausted and i still have to go 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 got a lot more to do so hope you're all having a magical mystical musical Friday I hope you enjoyed the trip to Coney Island wasn't that fun oh it was, it's such a great place I'm telling you it's so much fun and um, I'll talk to y'all very very soon I love you all bye